Hello everybody. Uh, a few weeks ago I got a message, a text message from my landlord saying, oh unfortunately we're going to have to put the rent up. They've been advised that they're not charging me enough. I don't know who's advised them, probably their accountant, whatever. Now I've lived in my house for about four or five years really looked after it despite the fact that the house is quite run down I mean kitchens from 70s floorboards are creaking the front door lock hardly works properly there's so many issues with the house so and they never seem to want to do it so I said you know what I'm moving out I've had enough you know I can't just put up with just the stuff going up all the time it's, it's ridiculous as it is so it was a bit of an impulse thing me saying yeah I'll move out I'm moving out I'll worry about it when I <laughs> when I've moved out so first thing I did I went online and started looking at houses to rent in West Yorkshire now I know West Yorkshire is not like it is down London but prices are ridiculous like just rabbit hutches, twelve hundred pound a month, and everyone's just trying to get as much money out of people as they can. Now, when you're a, a single person and you've got children, I mean, I only have my children part time, but I've still got two kids and I have to pay maintenance and all that sort of stuff. You know, you can't afford it. Wages aren't going up as much, are they? You've got your council tax going up you've got your gas and electric just skyrocketing food prices ridiculous so I've had enough for it so I'm going and living in my tiny van my little Peugeot expert tiny van there's three main reasons for this the first reason is like I've said the cost of living the second reason is I have a bit of adventure. I've been living month to month for years now. Well, not years, but past few years I've been living month to month. And I keep, I've got a five year old daughter and I want to do stuff with her. I'm just off to pick her up from school now. I want to do stuff with her, I want to go on adventures. And you can never afford it. And I know a lot of adventures don't cost much, but you know, I want to take her away and go on holidays and things like that. And I'm paying all my money out to people that are just trying to get as much out of you as they can. I'm sick of it. So that's another reason I can spend that money on my two children. We can have a great time because they grow up too quick. That's one thing. It just time just flies. I mean, I remember when my son was five. He's eighteen now, and my daughter's five. So I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to do lots of stuff. So that's the second reason. The third reason is to prove everybody wrong because as, when I've said to people, I'm going to go and live in my van, they've all laughed or said that's stupid. Anybody, you think I've told them I was from Mars or something? I'm going to live in my van. It's just like it don't register with some people. And yeah, I've been immersed in this sort of YouTube life and watching all these videos of van livers. So I just think it's like normal. But of course, family and friends, they don't really know much about it. So they think, they think you're a psycho because you're going to live in your van. Oh, you'll not do it. And then they've been saying, I mean, I love my family to bits, but they've been joking. You'll last two nights and stuff like that. So I'm going to prove you're all wrong. That's another reason. So that's the three reasons why I'm leaving my house and I'm going to live in this tiny van full time. Right, when I say full time, there's a caveat to that. Obviously, I've got my partner. You're seeing me other videos, Helen. I'm going to be staying there sometimes. Uh, but she's only got a small house. She's got two children. There's just no room for me. But yeah, I will be staying there every now and then. Also, when I've got my daughter, we'll probably, and it, say if it's really cold and it's not practical to stay in the van, we'll probably go and stay at my mum and dad's. And I'm sure my mum and dad are very excited about that. 
but we'll probably go and stay there. Or rest at time, the weather's a bit milder. We'll go on campsites because we've got awning and everything. We can, we'll have a right adventure. Another caveat is I've got a business and I have a business premises. I'm a bit of a wheeler dealer. I sell things online auctions things like that so I've got a business premises like a warehouse you it's an industrial unit but it's got a, a little kitchen area and it's got a toilet and everything so if worse comes to worse I could always stick a camp bed in there and spend night in there so you know I realize it's not such a big plunge as some people uh, them's the caveats what else did I want to discuss I forgot now, my van is only a tiny van, Peugeot Expert, tiny, and I had this van before I thought about the van life. I had it from a business. So, when I did make the decision, oh, I'm going to live in a van, I went, I did what everybody did, does. Oops, I too much what I'm doing, driving. So, what I did when I decided I wanted to live in my van, I went online, I thought I'll look at vans, Mercedes, Sprinter, Volkswagen Crafters, big vans, I couldn't believe price. I mean I know everything's a bit more expensive but you know, 20 grand at least for a decent one and then fitting it all out, ridiculous. So I thought well I'll start with the van I've got and you've probably seen some of my videos, I've been doing bits, I'll, I'll put a video on of it now. It's nowhere near finished, but it's cosy and it's livable. So I'm gonna just try it in this van for a bit. We'll see how that goes. It might be a complete disaster, who knows. Anyway, if you want to see how I get on with this, please subscribe to my channel. It does mean a lot when you subscribe and I like all the comments and stuff. You know, I'm trying to build this this channel and it gives me like motivation it makes me want to put videos on so I mean the van life people that I've been communicating with are some of the nicest people you could ever meet and it's great so yeah please subscribe and like and all that stuff what you have to do and uh, come on this journey with me adios <laughs> hello say hello to the camera Oh gosh, she's already decided, we've just got in the, the van and she's decided, where are we going? McDonald's! Chicken Nuggets! Oh dear me.